It's your boy Conservist34, and I gotta talk about sports this morning because there is an outrageous business uh, idea that was just released to the masses. Um, well, it's been around, and it's been hinting and teasing for months, but now we get the pricing for Mike Francesa's Mike's app, and it just makes you wonder who in the world these experts and these great business partners and these very educated people, who is telling a legend like Mike Francesa to make an $8.99 per month app or $98 a year sports app and saying, oh, that's a great idea. It's mind boggling. Let me start off and say, I have been listening to Mike Francesa since 1990 when I was literally born. Uh, my dad, uh, Listen to the to Mike's radio broadcast with Mike and the Mad Dog all the way up in Enfield, Connecticut, right at the Connecticut border, because that's how strong the signal was for WFAM on the, the AM radio dial. So I grew up listening in my I was literally learning how to walk. And, you know, Lenny from Queens was calling in uh, to Mike and the Mad Dog. And I was I was listening kind of subconsciously. So I've listened to, to him forever, and I still get clips from YouTube. I still listen in on the radio app to uh, WFAM when I have days off or have time uh, on a break at work. So I definitely love the entertainment factor of his regular show. But he has a partnership with CAA and Intercom, and I, I just don't know who's making these pricing decisions. Now, this whole thing was rolled out horribly. Uh, error number one is they teased an app for months, literally months. That's error number one. When you have an app, you can allude to it. You can say, hey, I got something working very subtly. But when you tease an app on air uh, in the public for months and months and you don't have it completed or done or in a beta stage, it, it's it's completely stupid because people want it. They want it. You know, when you have something that you're going to do, it has to be close to market. You know, you're not going to people aren't going to be waiting on hand, pins and needles to say, oh, 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 oh I got to get this mic set uh, when you're just saying, oh, it's going to be ready. Oh, it's, it's going to be ready. Yeah, yeah it's going to be ready. Like, no, no, that's stupid. Secondly, what's also dumb about this is he returned to free radio. So you're going to get. Uh, a couple hours, most days, of Mike Francesa on the fan giving his opinions. And guess what? Just because he has this app where he's going to go on randomly at any time of the day, that doesn't mean he's not going to, on his regular show, where they need the ratings, they need to compete with Michael K and the other people um, at the ESPN New York radio station, they're going to cover the same stories the next morning. So you're going to go to sleep, wake up, and then if you get a clip of it or you're driving to lunch or you're driving to work or driving home from work, you're going to still see this, the same stuff for free. So that messed up his hustle just by having a free show that he's still doing on WFAN. Um, you have commercials, but still, you're, you're, you're cutting against your own uh, competition. And then let's look at how stupid Mike Francesa has been. The, the other thing that's just dumb about him recently is he has literally reinvented things that are already invented. He talked about fantasy football. When he talked about sports betting, he talked about, hey, we need to have this idea where, you know, da 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 da, da, da. Long story short, it was fantasy football. Now he's trying to recreate and think that he's innovative by talking to his fans at any time of the day and then charging $8.99. Well, guess what? There's free podcasts for many great uh, sports professionals that are available. There's live, Facebook live streams. There's Twitter Q&As. There's Twitter videos of Michael Rappaport coming on after something stupid happened or after LeBron does something that is polarizing to, to fans. So many great sports personalities are giving us free content like the Mike's On app is going to give us for $8.99 a month. Essentially, you can get certain streaming packages for um, Hulu with commercials or uh, a, a non-HD version of Netflix for a dollar more or the same amount. It's stupid. It's stupid that you can literally go and get Apple Music 
for $9.99 a month, a dollar more, and you can listen to all the music you want to listen to. And Mike is charging $8.99. You don't even know when he's going to come on, okay? So you, and you can listen to his WFAN station for free with the radio app or many other apps. But he's charging you eight dollars and ninety nine cents for okay, maybe I'll come on, you know, maybe maybe I'll maybe I'll talk right now, you know. That's that's how we do it. That is a bad New York accent, Jersey accent. I'm sorry, but this is just it's mind boggling that people did not at any point in this process say, hey, Mike, you can't charge eight dollars and ninety nine cents for a sports app for just you. You know, you're not bringing on guests. You're not. You're just. You're just gonna pop up to your home studio and have people literally. You're gonna hope that people, a bunch of people, pay eight ninety nine. You're gonna get paid your regular wages to to be at home in in your PJs at, at the studio. It, it's completely. I, I I'm just I'm lost for words. Um, there was not research done. Uh, there was Mike bashing podcasts while he's he's. This entire time he's been talking about that app. Oh, yeah, I don't want to do a podcast. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. But the thing is, when you do a podcast for free, when you have free content on your social media, what you can end up doing is you gain a whole new base of fans who then you have a press tour for a book. Or you have these people doing podcasts. They're selling out theaters now, 3,000 seat theaters, the Highline Ballroom in, in New York, in Manhattan. So you, you give something away for free and then you can do live paid appearances and you recoup the eight ninety nine a month that you're trying to charge. You'll make it back when you give people free extra content. So clearly Mike is inventing things that have already been invented and then he's charging more for things that are already for free. And that is literally going to be the failure of this Mike's app unless the price goes down. Already, there's just negative reaction on, you know, and I hate just saying, oh, well, Twitter is negative. Well, Twitter, those are the people that are going to buy the app. You know, his older fan base is not buying this app. Uh, they're just going to listen to it on the radio. They're stuck, you know, and, and that's that's fine. Uh, but for, for those people that are going to listen for free, but it's not fine for Mike and his business partners, which clearly did not even test the waters of this idea of a $98 a year, $8.99 uh, per month app. It's your boy, ConservVis34. I just couldn't believe this. I had to give my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Definitely like, comment, subscribe. I'll be back to the music very soon this weekend. Uh, we got Lock In this weekend. We got Dave Matthews Band coming back on tour and a couple other things popping off. So I'll be back uh, talking music again. And I'm not going to charge you guys $8.99 a month for my opinion. All right, I'm out.